Hearing from Knox County School Superintendent Dr. John Reiswick after police say a 16 year old West High School student brought a stolen gun to school Tuesday. Dr. Reiswick says in part after incidents involving a weapon, the question of installing metal detectors in schools inevitably resurfaces and to preserve the safety and security of our schools, we cannot comment on the specifics of individual school security plans. Now we also know the students or the charges the student is set to face that includes charges of possession of a handgun by a juvenile, possession of a gun on school property and reckless endangerment. I was at West High School yesterday as parents made their voices heard. Parents and grandparents telling me they're not happy this has happened again, and it isn't the first time a gun has been found on the campus of West High School. One year ago, a student's gun went off as his backpack, hitting a teacher. Parents now saying it's time lawmakers find the money for metal detectors. It's time to put the metal detectors in the building. I don't know what the problem is. The mayor, the city mayor, the county mayor, y'all need to come up with the money to come up to get these metal detectors in our schools to protect these kids. These school resource officers and the police officers, they can't protect these kids. Get the metal detectors so you can see what's coming through these doors. Again, hearing her say it is time. Now, we did reach out to several stakeholders across the city and county about parents' requests. Only two besides Dr. Reiswick responded to WVLT News. Scott Erland with the Knoxville Police Department said Chief Noel would not comment because it is ultimately a decision the schools have to make. Meanwhile, State Representative Gloria Johnson, whose district covers much of West's district, gave us a statement saying in part, somewhere there is an irresponsible adult who has allowed a child to get access to a gun. We need to create a culture of responsibility around firearms and any adult who allows a child to get a gun should be held accountable. Everyone else on the list you saw before that statement, we did not hear back from either mayor's office after responding. Neither mayor's office said they would never responded. Excuse me. Catherine Bike, who represents West on the Knox County School Board, did not respond to a text or a call for comment. Sheriff Spangler's spokesperson is out of town tonight. You can read both Superintendent Dr. Reiswick and Gloria Johnson's entire statements right now inside your WVLT news app.